Hi, it's Michelle from Here and There Makers. Uh, I've got a really quick and easy uh, recipe for you today for a toilet cleaning gel. Uh, now for many years I just used to use bicarbonate vinegar in the toilet and it worked fine. Uh, and my children used to enjoy watching it fizz when they were little and they would follow me around while I was cleaning. But I actually found out uh, recently that by adding vinegar and bicarb, you end up neutralizing the two products. So once you've got the fizzing has happened and it's died down, you're not actually having any sort of chemical reaction because the, uh, the alkaline of the bicarb has neutralized the acid of the vinegar. So all you're really getting is the abrasive action of the bicarb to clean your toilet, which is good, but there are other things that you can use. So today what we're going to do is make the gel and we need 100 grams of citric acid. So I'm just getting my scarves to wake up again. Okay, so I'm going to measure in 100 grams of our citric acid. Up oh, there we go, 100 grams of citric acid and 400 mils of boiled water. Yeah, let's just that around, I can see where the 400 mils is. So we're just going to whisk that up until it's dissolved, yeah. <coughs> which doesn't take very long at all. It doesn't have to be a whisk, it could just be a fork or something. All right, so that's the first part. In a separate bowl, we're now going to mix xanthan gum and vegetable glycerin. Now, we don't sell either of these products at here and their makers at the moment, although I'm trying to find a palm-free um, vegetable-based glycerin that we can do in refills. The xanthan gum I found at Woolies. Xanthan gum we found at Woolies. Uh, and you can also get it at the health food shop. It's mostly used in gluten-free baking to thicken things up. So it's a, it's a good thickener. All right, so we just need a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Okay, so just a teaspoon of this one into the bowl. A teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. Okay, now we're just gonna mix those together. Like so. And then we're going to add that to our cooling down citric acid mix. It will thicken up a bit more. Um, but it will still work even when it's not as thick as it will get once it's cold. Right, so I'll put that in there. A little bit more mixing to get those last little bits in the bottom. Now, if you're used to commercial toilet cleaner gels that have a bit of colour, you can also add um, a couple of drops of food colouring. Three. And that will help when you put it in the toilet to be actually able to see where the cleaner's actually gone, but it is completely not essential. Uh, you can absolutely leave it clear, that's no worries. All right, then we're going to add a teaspoon of tea tree oil. Now you might have another essential oil that you prefer. You might want to use lemon or eucalyptus, but I find tea tree is a really good um, antibacterial and uh, cleaning oil and I don't mind the smell of tea tree oil either. So we're just going to mix that through. Once we've finished with that, we can pop it into a squeezy bottle. Make sure you always label your bottle. You don't want to have your chicken nuggets with your toilet cleaner, uh, as may have happened in our household at one point before I put the label on. Anyway, uh, now we're going to go and have a go at cleaning the toilet. Won't that be fun? So here is a toilet I've been preparing for you earlier with the many, many people in our house. So it is quite disgusting. And so what I normally do is I'll squeeze a bit of the gel. Ooh, look how jelly it is. Up under the rim, like so. And there we go. 
And then I'm going to use my lovely Coconut Eco Max uh, toilet brush with the paper pottery holder, all available here in their makers, and give this a good scrub. But first I would probably leave that for about five to 10 minutes just to soak while I'm doing the rest of the bathroom. Uh, but you can see that that is going to get off the stainage quite nicely. Now, my big life tip when I'm teaching my children how to clean the toilet is keep your mouth closed. Look at that. That's much better. Now, I normally use my all-purpose spray, which I'm going to show you soon, to clean the outside of the toilet. And if it's really stained, I'll also use my soft scrub too. Um, but the toilet gel is fantastic for cleaning the bowl. So I hope you find that a useful and helpful recipe. And we'll see you here another time. Thanks.